Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. Everyone of you dicks wants to talk about planets. That's the real science term for detectives. It's dicks. Batman and Sherlock Holmes were dicks. What is the dwarf planet? Dangling dingleberries. Now how much do we really know about star creation, solar formation, and dark antimatter penetration? What is a planet? What then will the future reveal? If this story you are about to witness is only the beginning. I am the Indiana Jones of astronomy. And here we go. Everybody needs a laugh. So let's go. NASA astronomers. Pluto is a planet. So is Jupiter's ocean moon. Europa. So is your face. Everything's a planet now. I'm a planet. You're a planet. We're all planets. Everything's a planet. See that bowl of jello over there? That's a planet. See that weird car on the highway? That's a planet. You seen a bowl of fruity pebbles? That's a planet. Okay, I exaggerate. But it's like the definition of planet has gotten super weird. Malleable, bureaucratic, councilitic, and, um, I know, man. It was like planet wasn't defined, and then they found Eris and Sedna. And then they defined a planet and never talked about Eris or Sedna again. And then now they've been going back and forth in this seesaw tug of war led by ruler of the underworld, Pluto. John Hopkins, university scientist Kirby Runyon, wants to make one thing clear. Too many Kirbys is a problem. Wait, what? Regardless of what one prestigious scientific organization says. To the contrary, Pluto is a planet. So, he says, is Europa. The one place Stanley Kubrick and the AI told us not to go. Commonly known as a moon of Jupiter. And so is the Earth's moon. And so are more than a hundred other celestial bodies in our solar system that are denied this status under the prevailing definition of a planet. Now here's the deal, man. I tell jokes, so a lot of times, because I'm so hilarious and people don't know how to deal with it, they can't take me totally serious as a scientist. I'm a genius, bro. Watch as I simplify. All right, Thor News definition of a planet. Do you have auroras? You. Congratulations. That is the crown of planets. An aurora. Earth has auroras. Mars has auroras. Jupiter has auroras. Saturn has auroras. Some brown dwarfs have auroras. They're all planet. You ain't got aurora. You ain't got a planet crown. You. Or not a planet. This is how I define it, man. You can define it however you want to. Like, you are just as cool as the IAU. So go ahead with your bad self. Go ahead and make your own personal definition of a planet. Do some research in both science and mythology, bro. Don't be lazy. And then make up your own definition. And then walk around feeling like a badass. Because the words are forged in our minds and imaginations. And they're just forms of communications. If we're standing side by side, staring up into the store. I'm like, hey, is that bright light? A planet or a star? Or, if we're looking at some of the wonderful NASA photographs, or ESA photographs, like, hey, is that pixel a planet or a star? I'm sorry, pixels. The definition approved by the International Astronomical Union in 2006 demoted Pluto to non-planet. Thus, it lost its benefits, its health care, and its right to breed with other planets. Thus, dropping the consensus number of planets in our solar system from Nine to eight. The change, a subject of much scientific debate at the time, and since, that will be presented next week at a scientific cage match in the heart of Texas, where four scientists, each wielding one hand-to-hand -hand weapon of their choice, will duel it out to the death. Wait, I read that wrong. I see Rocky Pluto. Oh. Lead author of a short paper making the pro-Pluto argument that will be presented next week at a scientific conference in Texas. Wait, they allow science in Texas? When did they become godless? I'm <laughs> just kidding, man. I'm from Texas. I see Rocky Pluto had been the smallest of the nine planets. Its diameter under three quarters of that moon and nearly a fifth of the Earth still says Runyon. I think this is a lot of commas, man. I don't know. We get tripped up by your commas. They're like hurdles I can't jump over. And here I was preaching about the malleability of words and how we the words miss the word creators like Zeus created Athena and Apollo from his mind. We are creating words from our minds. And I can't get past steel, comma, says, comma, Runyon, comma, who is finishing his doctorate this spring, which is now. Spring just started. In the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, comma, Pluto, quotation marks, 
has everything going on its surface that you associate with a planet. Snow, mountains, rain, tornadoes, duck hunting, marijuana, waterfalls, and dipshits arguing about stupid stuff. Wait, I read that wrong. Pluto has everything going on its surface that you associate with a planet. Dot, 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 dot. There's nothing non-planet about it. Paul Runyon, uh, his ox was cute. Oh, that's Paul Bunyan. Maybe Runyon's the Paul Bunyan of astronomy. Runyon, whose doctoral dissertation focuses on changing landscapes on the moon and the Mars. Wait, is he trying to change them? Or is he talking about the changes that are happening? I wish I had like a comma or some type of thing that would indicate what was what. Mm -mm. Shit. Hey, mask. Alan Stern's a cool dude. Maybe he will float my simple definition. Across the board, a picture of margaritas. and see how it's accepted. Runyon whose doctoral dissertation focuses on changing landscapes on the moon and Mars, led a group of six authors from five institutions in drafting a proposed new definition of planet, comma, and a justification for the, that definition. Both will be presented at the Lunar Planetary Science Conference poster session. The poster will be on view for a full day on March 21st, and the conference sponsored by... What poster are we talking about? What the hell's going on? Runyon will be on hand for at least three hours to answer questions. That's a lot of questions. The other authors are S. Alan Stern, Kelsey Singer, Todd Lauer, Will Solomon Grundy. I'd bet on him in that cage match, man. Michael Summers, Scott's brother. All the authors are science team members on the New Horizons mission to Pluto. Why didn't Alex Parker get invited? I'd like to hear his thoughts on this issue. Dear Alex Parker, if NASA has lifted the Thor News gag, uh, feel free to comment. Runyon and his co-authors argue for a definition of planet that focuses on the intrinsic qualities of the body itself rather than the external factors, such as its orbit or other objects around it. They define a planet as substellar mass body that has never undergone nuclear fusion and that has enough gravitational heft to maintain a roughly round shape, even if it bulges at the equator because of a three-way squeeze of forces created by its own gravity and the influence of both a star and a nearby larger planet. And that sentence kind of bored me when I read it, so I kind of spaced out while I was reading it, so I hope I read it right. This definition differs from the three-element IAU definition in that it makes no reference to the celestial body surroundings. That portion of IAU's 2006 formula, which required that a planet and its satellites move along through their orbit, excluded Pluto. Otherwise, Pluto fit the IAU definition. It orbits the sun and is massive enough that the forces of gravity have made it around. Hey, Jupiter doesn't orbit the sun. It shares a very center with it. So Jupiter's not a planet. It's the sun's binary companion. Also, yeah, they say... To be a planet, you got to clear your orbit, first of all. It's not like the orbit is a driveway, and we can see the whole driveway to see if all the leaves have been cleared off that driveway. And second of all, if our galaxy is going to collide with the Andromeda galaxy in the future, then technically our solar system has not cleared its orbit. So then there are no planets in our solar system. Words, man, they're weird. They're real weird. They can be used for good or evil. Sure. So choose your word wielding wisely as you go out there trying to define planets. All right, the story. We'll not die. So we'll be back. Kick ass. Peace out. God bless everybody.